working on your electronic parking brakes has never been easier providing that you have the right diagnostic tools. On my left, we have the Xtool D7. We have a tool that is convincing me to not use the BMW genuine stuff and use this little one because it's small, fast, rugged, and should I damage it, I don't need to cry myself to sleep. So, electronic parking brake on the X tool, special function. We, after that, select electronic parking brake. We need to select the type of vehicle that we are going to work on. So, in my case, the BMWs. The unit will continue to establish communication with the vehicle. So, ensure that the ignition is on. Once that has happened, we get a short description of what the process will look like and we get the two main options which for the BMWs are activate the install location or disable the install location. We select activate to spread out the electronic parking brake. First step, we need to disengage our electronic parking brake. So press the brake pedal and push down the electronic parking brake switch actually do it because the system will actually check it. Once that is done, we get a prompt for the actual process, which takes a little bit longer, up to 10 seconds, and is clearly noticeable based on the sound that the system is going to do. When that is done, we get the next message in which uh, the servicing function is described as being successful. And also we are prompted with the information that our electronic parking brake switch is now disabled. At this point in time, we can do the work that we wanted to do on our rear brakes. And once we want to reactivate the system to reuse the vehicle, we need to use the second part of the process, which is disable the install location. We click on that, click on continue. We get the description of what we should be doing. The main description is requiring us to enable the parking brake and after that uh, disengage it, testing that the system is able to work. The first activation of the electronic parking brake will take longer, up to 10 seconds, because your system needs to go back and grab your brake discs and pads, but after that normal operation will be a maximum of 3 seconds. If everything goes according to plan, you get a nice little message saying that the uh, function has been successful and you click OK. Now your vehicle is back to normal and everything should be working just fine. 